Quite a few YouTube viewers have asked me about how to make the components for the steam bending apparatus. So I thought, well, I'll start with the former and show you how I make the former. The base material for the former is 18 millimeter ply. I've used a waterproof, boil proof, WPB ply. Um, some sort of technical specification, but basically it means it's fairly good in terms of steam and water resistance. Uh, it's exterior grade, is how you might see it at your hardware centre. And what I'll be doing, I'll be varnishing all the sort of cut edges to make sure that the water and steam don't get in when I'm doing the bending. So anyway, I'll take you through the steps, you'll see what happens. Well, here's an arm from a continuous Windsor armchair, and here's the lower bend for the lower part of the arm. And then there's the secondary bend for the back, curved back. And this one was done on quite an old former. It's getting a bit cronky now, so I, I need to make some new formers to get nice smooth bends everywhere. Here we are with the bending pro former, and this is my old one. It's getting rather flaky now, bits are breaking up. I mean, it is 20 or so years old, so, and I didn't varnish it as well. <laughs> but, um, so we'll make a new one. Quite a tight curve for the arm, for the lower arm. It's a four and a half inch radius there. That is a four and a half inch radius. The back curve for the main bow, is a nine and a half inch radius, a far more gentle one. That's the one I do first in the steam bending video. These are the secondary bends in the steam bending video. The metal strap, which I'll go into later with a bit more detail, basically fits around the pro forma to hold the wood and to stop it splitting. Firms around there, quite a good fit. So the first job really is to cut out all these sections of wood and then start joining them all together using, as I say, 18mm ply. Going to make the lower box section first and then make the curved bits. I'm making the sides of the bending former at the moment. So these are the bits that do the tight bend for the arms, for the lower arms. And I've got a four and a half inch radius cut that I'm going to make on here. I'm sandwiching three sheets of 18mm ply together to give a nice bit of landing space for the bent arm as it comes down. But that's a four and a half inch radius, so it's the tight radius bend. This will form the side of the main box. So there'll be like a box construction around this that will keep it all together. So making two of these. I'll do some drilling next just to secure the three panels. Okay, well I've been doing some work on the larger bow um, former, that's the back of the bow, um, the 9 inch radius bend, so this is a 9 inch radius on this really semi-circle in effect, and it's two layers of 18 millimetre ply. Again, I've made these indents to take the G-clamps for actually clamping the steamed wood firmly to the former. You can see it's two layers, so it's nice and thick. I'll smooth that properly. It's pretty smooth at the moment with the bandsaw, but I'll get it perfectly smooth, and then I'll varnish it with some waterproof varnish. So as I say, that's a nine inch radius curve for the back of the bow. And what I've done is at the sides, I've cut them flat, just sort of taking the radius off at the sides. And that just helps when you're doing the bending. It gives a slightly better transition into the bend for the lower arm. So that's actually two inches there. I've just slightly scooped off. And that's the case with each side. And then the other thing is I have a little lower piece. It's longer. So it gives you a little apron effect along here. And that's three quarters of an inch deep. And again, it's been cut off straight with along that two inches. And the reason it's not two layers here is I have to put a securing bar across to hold the first bend strap in position. So if you have a look at the steam bending video, you'll see exactly what I mean. But I actually put in a, a cross beam of metal here, just ring nutted on to hold the first bend strap firmly in position before I do the second series of bends. Okay, I've got a, another sort of slightly larger semicircle of plywood here, which is going to sit underneath the big former. So what I'm going to do is screw this down, get it in the right place, and this, basically the bent bit of wood will go around 
the two levels here and this bottom piece just acts like a bottom stop to actually hold the wood fair and it keeps the wood and the strap roughly in alignment. I've actually cut this lip round here at about five eighths to three quarters of an inch wide. I actually want it to be thinner than the actual piece of wood I'm bending so that it doesn't foul a metal bending strap. So I'll get this clamped into position to where I want it and then I will screw it in. At the moment I'll do a couple of tacking screws in effect and um, I'll then sand everything or plane it to get it nice and smooth prior to final assembly. So just checking that's roughly in alignment, I think it is, it's just a little <laughs> with this sort of thing you can keep teasing and thinking oh it's not quite right there or I want to have it a bit more to one side as long as it's roughly right it's not not too critical there we are right clamp those put a couple of pilot screws in I'm using one of these countersinking bits on my drill I'll just pop those in This would just essentially get this all sandwiched together and then I can do the next step which would be adding the box frame around it all. So I'll pop a couple of screws in. one nice construction so that's ready for the next part so what I've got now is I'm going to work out which way I've got this I've got my two side walls voila my vice is a bit in the way here there are my two side walls What I want to do then is put this piece, screw this there, like that, and then this part of the bending former will sit in the middle like that. So what we essentially have is the piece of bent wood will come around this large back part of the bend, the nine inch radius bend, continue for the second part of the bend down these four and a half inch radius bends down here. So the next job really is to screw this part of the framing together and then to screw this to the top and also put a base on as well. We're, we're now really getting there quite well. Okay, well we've got the actual main assembly now made up. I've actually put the box construction together with the side bends and the main top arch bend. And I've put a lot of varnish on to actually give it good protection from the steam. So I've been using a high grade exterior varnish to actually stop any steam penetrating the ply to try and make it last as long as possible. The windlass just slots into these drilled holes and it's simply a metal bar with a wooden lever on it 
and there's a wire strap that winds around the bar and if you turn the lever it, it pulls it down so this has an eyelet on the end and it hooks onto the bending strap and you can get colossal force to actually pull the bent wood down so it's very effective, very simple but very effective that's the lower one, similar idea for the main bend at the top mm. well we've now got the bending formal completed it's all assembled and the wind lasses are in place so here's the top wind lass, nice long one to get maximum leverage for doing the top bend it takes quite a lot of pressure so you get a lovely lot of leverage off that. So that's the curve for the top bend. And then we have each of the separate arm bends and a smaller windlass to work each of those. And same principle, just a pole with a cable wrapped around it that pulls and tightens as you turn it. So there you are, one completed continuous arm bending former, all, all done and ready for action.